Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Extra Time. Extra Time is a podcast show that we are going to make, following on from the radio show that came out on Thursday. That came so, out on Thursday. Thanks, Joe. It's all right. I got your back. Um, no, so on the Extra Time, no songs. We're not. We're scrapping the six. Um, the six question rule, and we're getting you know, down a day. We're getting deeper into the topic of, well, this week the topic of traveling and holidays. And who have we got in the studio with us? Oh. None other than. Henry Shepherd. Ah! The sheepdog is in the building. Oh. Calm down, boys. Calm down. Um, oh. So obviously, uh, Henry's going to bring some insight into the topic of holidays. Bring That's some great. of his own stories. But Luke, first, you spent last week in hospital. Oh, I did. Um, it's exactly a week since I, uh, I, I was in hospital. Wow. Um, we touched on it a little bit on the show on Thursday, but. Yes. You got any stories? Anything else that you want to delve into about your experiences over in? Uh, well, I can, I can I can go I can QE yeah I can I can go through uh, the, the story guys if you want me to go on then please go do on, start to finish. I've been uh, been holding this one in for a while. <laughs> so basically Sunday night I, got, I started getting sharp pains in the abdomen. I felt like I was gonna I was felt like I was gonna die. I felt like I was being stabbed. I literally I was actually downstairs in my room just in my bed just called up just in agony. I started going to the toilet, started just throwing up, it was disgusting. And then after a while I had to I had to, I had to pull the plug and say, I need I need to sort this out. Yeah. Ordered an Uber. I can't believe you ordered yourself an Uber Yeah. I ordered myself an Uber, mate. It's, I'm, I, the best three pound fifty I ever spent <laughs> on an Uber, that's for sure. Every penny was worth it. Yeah, I man, called man. myself according to the Uber, I say to the boss man, uh hundred miles an hour. I was like, take it away, Ernie. I was like, <laughs> mate, get me to A&E Burns right now. Bar. The guy looks at me, he, go, he literally said like a little like, self-assessment and see what situation I was in. I was like, just go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like Jordan Belford when he's climbing out into his car. It's exactly yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. Joe. Uh, and then, he, he, to, be fair to, to be fair to him, he, he, he got there pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, he, he knew I was in a bit of agony. Mm. And no, complete agony. I literally got out of the car, <laughs> stumbled, got to the doors A&E, there were like women there who had to check for coronavirus and stuff like temperatures. I literally just fall on my knees. I'm just like, I need, mm. I just need some assistance. You're I need some help. I was in so much pain, man. And then they were like, they were literally like, oh shit. And then they were like, this guy is like in a lot of pain. So they literally, you have to go through triage when you're in A and E. You have to go through triage. They like, they like assess you and they see the severity of the situation. Like your, your. Uh, Does that take a while? It can take a while. And they literally, I like, just bypass through that and just yeah. went right through to and I got into like a little, because um, it's Corona, they, they put me in like a little, like. Separate ward. Yeah, like a, it was like a big ward, but like my little section. Yeah. They're like mm-hmm. different, like, they're like nine or so. And I was just like, I was like, get me some morphine. Get me some morphine. I went up to the doctor, I called up to the doctor, so I was like, get me some morphine. I sound like Batman, mate. Yeah. I was like, get me some morphine. It sounded quite cool, actually. I was, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, at the time, it wasn't. But yeah. they got me some more, like, after a while, like, the longest 10 to 15 minutes of my life was waiting for the painkillers. Yeah. And there was this woman, um, I won't say her name for the sake of the podcast, but I'll call her Esmeralda. <laughs> Esmer- <laughs> I sound like, you, sound like you planned that name, not going to lie. Very... No, no, I have planned I'll this I'll call name. her Esmeralda. Because she looked like an Esmeralda at the time. Yeah, quite um, specific name. And uh, I was like, Esmeralda was just such a sweetheart. She was like, uh, she was like, oh, this boy needs, well, man, yeah. manly man. This manly man needs uh, <laughs> needs some painkillers right away, pronto. Yeah. And then, so 10, 15 minutes was just agony. Esmeralda came back, so she was like, oh, um, the painkillers are coming. I was like, cheers, Esmeralda. Get her a spud. Mm. And then they came in. They put me on an IV trip. And I was like, safe. I'm just going to be so calm. <laughs> Esmeralda comes in, she goes, right Luke, this is uh, it's a pill you need to take. And I go, cool, like, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm more yeah. happy to take a pill. And she goes, right, well, you're going to have to put in your rectum. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, me? I can give us an idea how big I, this I was, like, I was like, Esmeralda, yeah. I was like, are you joking? It was like, it was like a size of a, a big pill. It like wasn't a, big, but it looked like a chalk. Like, like a, a chalk, chalk, a chalk stick. Chalk, chalk stick. Oh, it wasn't God. as big as that. What? But I was like, fuck. I was like, I'd, mate, I'd do anything to her. I'd do anything to her. To give yeah, myself you've, done, you've definitely done well. Yeah, and then, I, <laughs> to, be, to be fair, though. <laughs> she was like, she um, she got me some lube as well. She was, oh, she was, she was trying to explain to me what lube is. I was like, oh, I know what lube is. I was give me the pill. I was like, I need to take it. And she was like, oh, if, um, if you feel uncomfortable, we can get one of the male uh, doctors to come and do it for you. Wait, I was so like, did no. you do it yourself or she did it for you? I did it for myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. For literally like five seconds of my life, I went fully gay. I was just like, yeah. right in did there. Did you enjoy it or not? I'm scarred. Yeah, um, I've noticed you haven't really been the same you since c- you come back, and that's probably why. It was weird, mate. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, and, and people would joke about, obviously, <laughs> seen about an in between us. You know, yeah. in between us, they say, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I'll oh, need you to help him. And I was yeah. like, what? But I'm not even joking with you. Like, actually, like, in a matter of, like, 
<laughs> 10 minutes I was absolutely fine are you joking does it work that quickly it works so quickly not and, worth it then you should have taken it she was like, she was like uh, so you can take another one 12 hours I was like no uh, I'm, I'm alright yeah and then saw the doctor the doctor was like you need to go get your blood uh, well you need to go to a different ward because there's something up in your blood there's like an inflation in your blood so I was like that's, that's calm went to the wards um, chilled there for a bit met some mates like some nurses and doctors they're safe um mm. So for a bit, the pain came back again, started being sick, which was really annoying. Mm. And then I was actually like, I was just like, some, like, can I have some pain relief? They're like, Luke, we literally gave, giving you like, every pain. Right, so this is still on the first day you've got that? First day, like yeah. first full, full day like, on the Sunday. And I was like, uh, they literally give me every pain you could possible. Like, yeah. Luke, we can't give you anything more. Like, you're going to have to grit and bear. I was like, oh. But I did. I, the pain went. I was able to sleep. Um, Stayed I, the night. Stay the night that night. Well, yeah, just, you know, I stayed mm. four nights. That was the first night. I didn't. I thought that would be the only night I was going to stay. Yeah. Mm. Um, and they didn't do any, they didn't x-ray at like 11.30 at night. Uh, I don't know why they had to do it, but the x-ray came back fine. Mm -hmm. Woke up the next day, I did, a, I did an ultrasound, like I was bloody pregnant. Mm. Um, well, you never you know, weren't mate. pregnant. You never know. You never know, I could have had it yeah. a year me. Um, so it was good that they checked that. That would have been a little bit of a plot twist. <sighs> a bit of a dove dove from any yeah. centers, mate. <laughs> I literally came back, that was fine. They said to me like so many times I could go home. I literally messaged in the chat to you guys. I'm yeah. going home. Everyone's going, yeah. I was like, no, sight can't yeah, go. Yeah, you were leading us on a little. I know. Bit, yeah. I, I, was, I was a little teased. It was a bit then, cheeky. It was cheeky. Pretty, yeah. And then so it got shown, and then they, they're like, oh, you need to do like an ST scan. We were doing an ST scan. And I was like, calm. And they were constantly checking my What's blood. That? It was like it's like it's similar to an MRI scan, but you it's not as claustrophobic. And you literally go through like it's like a machine. It spins around you, and you get quite hot. Um, I think it's for like you know the abdominal area like to, to see what is going on yeah and um, that I did that on the I did that oh, I can't remember when I did that but I did that on the mornings and then I mean I, I, I saw you guys a couple of times um, yeah. and then you know they said to me again I could go home on like the Tuesday morning I was like for goodness sake so I literally spent like three two nights already in here I wanted to leave I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was just being stupid, like drinking too much, whatever. Yeah, that doctor you were telling me was. There was a doctor. He's, he's, he goes to me. So do you drink the night before you came here? Like you know, before the pain. I said oh, I had six beers. I was like, just you know, just mine. And he shakes his head. He goes, that's not mine, yeah, is it? That's not yeah. I was like, mate. I was like, have you honestly lived a social life yeah, when you're younger? Like, six fun, beers. Like, like, the the doctors, they, yeah, they don't live a social life. And he just shakes his head. I was just thinking, this guy is just shut up, man. Shut up. Just shut up. And then. So yeah, I had a scan, and then they said I could go home, and they said I could go home, and in a matter of half an hour, an hour later, these two guys with uh, with shirts come over to me, and I'm sort of thinking, fuck, like, you know it's serious, yeah. when they're not wearing scrubs, and I was like, oh, and then, and then he goes, um, I don't want no scrubs, yeah. and uh, they go, right, we think it we think it could be appendicitis, and I was like, what, and they're like, you have the option to either leave with antibiotics and potentially go through this pain again, or have an operation, I'm thinking, are you dumb? I'm yeah, definitely having an operation. Yeah. So I had the operation, got put to sleep. That was crazy. Anesthetic and morphine. It's just mad. I was on like, on like a cloud. Yeah. Um, got put on just like codeine and other meds after that. Met a couple of mates. Met a guy who, who wrote a book on science fiction. He was a lovely guy. Dave, you listen to, to, to this podcast. Shout out to you, mate. Shout out. Uh, and yeah, uh, Wednesday morning, uh, woke up. Hobbled home. Hobbled home. Got, mm. take, got all the... Um, it's like all the, like the needles and stuff out of me, and I just had I had like a forty minute shower. Yeah. And then I came yeah. downstairs. What was the first meal you had when you came back? I think you just ate some crisps, didn't you? I had some crisps like meal. I think I had like a tuna pesto pasta, or cheese. Yeah, I know. I remember that, that, that is a classic meal. You still owe me for that. Yeah. I gave you I did, I gave you can of tuna, mate. Well, look, we'll, we'll sort this yeah, out. We'll sort that out. But yeah, yeah that was it. That was that was the experience. But uh, it was great. What, it was great what? fun. I would I would ten out ten out of ten recommend again. Append appendicitis removal. Um, so that that's that's the story. That's Luke, what I've been, guys. What, what was worried. what was the highest high and the lowest low of your time in hospital? Um, I mean, I helped set up one the the nurses Facebook accounts. Wow. Um, you, put, and you said, is this the the lovebird? No. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, I'm currently I'm currently seeing someone at the moment, Henry. I can't believe you just no, said that. Well, I thought you said you fell in love and got I, heartbroken. I don't, on the last I, I don't know what you're on about. It's it's hard when you got the the show of the week on Burn FM. Uh, I'm not getting into Le this. Le I, I feel like if we keep bringing this up, then we're we've just only gonna... brought once, mate. We've only brought once. I don't worry about. But yeah, there's a lot of nice people there. That's what I'm gonna say. We, we I, I met a lot of uh, nice people. Mm. Uh, worst moment would probably be the pain. I'd say. Yeah, um, quite a generic not, not answer, but 
Not the pill. That's oh, the, best I mean, the, pill, that oh was... the pill relieved the pain, so maybe that was the that's best. That's probably moment. the best moment. Yeah, and also you know, yeah, it was pretty. It was it was pretty horny yeah, as well. Yeah, it was pretty horny. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, that's my experience. Right. Well, I'm never going to borrow paracetamol from you mm. ever. Um, <laughs> should we move into sort of the more holiday based? Yeah, that, that was that was my little show, uh, that was my little winter getaway little yeah. uh, little trip. Yeah, that was that quite nice actually. I bet mean, it was nice having a few days out. I of the house. When I got home, I literally felt like I'd been on holiday. Really, you felt yeah. refreshed. I felt like, you looked like you had a bit of tan. Yeah. I had a bit of tan. Yeah. They actually put on the operation. I don't know why they put orange on you. They put like some. Yeah. Uh, they put like I, I think it's I don't know why they do what, it. Like an orange or not an orange, but like, it looks like tan. It looks like tan. A bit of fake tan. Fake tan. Yeah. Probably just to make the rig look nice yeah. when they're doing the operation. They gave me a shave of uh, the the stomach and uh, a bit of the torso and yeah. a yeah. cheeky bit of the pubes as well. So that's I was quite, that's I was looking good. All for free as well. Yeah, but all also I know how long you've been trying to grow that and they've just removed all your oh, hard, no. work, hard work with the swipe of a blade. I've been working for a while, but look, and they, you know those things they put on uh, those, those sticky things. Yeah. yeah, they do check your like your I don't know like pulse. your heart. Yeah, yeah. pulse. They put loads on me and they really? ripped out loads of my like what what little chest that I Ooh. had. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> But that you know, was my experience in hospital, guys. You know in the movies where they break out and they rip all the stuff away from them? Is that yeah. what you did on the last day before you came home? I literally took, I had to take off so much like plasters and stuff on my yeah. body. Yeah, I literally was just doing that. But yeah. it was a good feeling to get back home and to be with the house. But So yeah, yeah, we'll crack on with the holiday aspect. So during now the radio the show. show, there was, you know, there's a few things we planned to touch on that we didn't end up getting round to. So I guess this is kind of the point of this show is to cover everything in full depth and detail and get another guest on obviously we've got Henry and uh, I'm, hopefully he's got a few funny stories to share with us all um, where do we want to start this off boys um, I say we start off we can start we can start I've got a big one do you what? want to talk about our best moment from Zambia or our best sporting moment from Zambia to make it more There's specific a few sporting because we, we've had a comment on our Instagram asking for the best sporting moment on holiday or abroad or whatever yeah um and given the three of us all travel to zambia i think that's something you know we could work on and we'll be yeah. able to relate to each other's answers well i'll set the scene go on it was the uh 2018 world cup in russia yeah and england were playing colombia in the final 16 knockout stages get through to the the, the quarterfinals and i remember we were promised that we could watch this game and the excitement was uh, was felt amongst everyone. It was I, I was very excited, and we could have we could have sunk a couple of a uh, couple of beers, potentially some softies. some softies, yeah. And we went to we went to a school with uh, the chari- like with the, the group of girls that we were. We, play, with we played time. a game of football against the. Played a game of football against some vets. Yeah. Uh, one on penalties. Easy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I remember I stopped one away. I remember. Um, as you know, continue. continue. But basically, uh, to, to cut it short, we we went back. We got back on the bus after the football game. And one of the girls went missing, and one of her brothers was actually at the school that we're just to clarify. Uh, this is one of the uh, Zambian girls who yeah. you were traveling with. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. So her brother went to that school, and she was seeing. And it's all right, it's, you know, understandable. She wants to see her brother, but she went missing. And she didn't tell anyone, and the, of course, there was a massive panic. Everyone was worried, and basically, once she was found, it was agreed that we weren't going to watch the football game. And I'm not going to name any names, but there was a certain. Uh, yeah, who, uh, it kicked. It, stop it, the fun. it kicked off, and there was a yeah. lot of shouting on the bus. At certain limbs, limbs were getting thrown around. Yeah. I know Joe was in there, giving headlock. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't want to really talk about it. It was, it was rock bottom. But basically, we were down the dumps, guys. We're, we're, we lost all faith. We didn't yeah. think we were going to be able to watch the game. Yeah. And we, I know you two decided to get the radio working. Am uh-huh. I right? I did bring a radio. Yes, and you tuned in. We did, we did. As, B- as I think it was like a miracle. BBC. Yeah, World I think we got we got what the first half on the radio. Yeah, we listened yeah, to the first the half. The Harry Kane penalty. Harry Kane, I remember yeah, that. We I, remember that. I mean, it's great. In, in, in a way, it's almost better over the radio because it's so like, yeah, much anticipation. Yeah. You're waiting until you, you can't see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to build that image in your head. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then I remember our teacher came and went. Well, you can just you can just go across uh, to the the co- is it was it what's the convent? Yeah. Like, yeah, the convent. It's where the where the nuns where the nuns live in the city of Joy. You can just watch the game there. They got yeah, TV. They're nice big TV in there. Nice yeah. TV. Nice TV. And screen, they, were actually, yeah. they were actually—they were already watching it, weren't they? No, they were. I think we came in. I think Mr. Mar took us in. I thought they we... were. No, they weren't watching. I, so. were. so I could have sworn um, um, one of the teachers was in there watching. It. No, I, I know. I know what you're thinking, but I mean, we had to we had to set it up Maybe get, and get late, the channel yeah. going. You may have been late. We, we may have all been watching when you came in, but 
I remember, yeah, we got it set up. Yeah, all the boys in there. All the boys were in there, the lads. Yeah. Uh, just on the lash. Just Jesus. Great yeah. chat. Great chat all Couple around. Couple of softies. Yeah. Couple of softies. And I remember, I remember, so England won, won up. I remember, I remember Mr. Mar turned to me and he went, uh, we're going to win this by penalties. Yeah. yeah. I went, sir, we're, we're one and yeah. up. Why, 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 why are you saying that? Negative, yeah. I know, you know. And then little did we know. Boys. Comes well, to, comes to it. They equalised, didn't they? Yeah. And yeah. Everyone was fuming. I was, I was, I was not happy. He went to yeah. extra time. They went to penalties, and we all know England are like penalties. Yeah. Honest, let's be honest. It's I was, we're not I was very close playful. to tears, honestly. It was emotions were high, and I remember the penalties were, were being taken. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, Kieran Trippier band as well. I remember. Yeah. Trippier. Yeah. Um, solid band. Solid band. Solid band, obviously. And I remember uh, Eric Dyer slot the last one in. <sighs> Yeah, it I would say was the emotion that was felt oh, amongst you boys. Good, it was very good. Every, had, limbs, had, yeah. It hadn't been the best day, and that was yeah, the best end to a bad day. Yeah, exactly. And we were in a different country as well. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking if there had been a few pints in the mix as well, what potentially could have kicked a lot, a lot of danger. Yeah, there was probably danger. there was probably a good thing there was no alcohol involved. Exactly, you know, alcohol. Just, yeah, I was hard in life anyway. But that I would say that goes down as one of the best sporting. You know, like. What about what the, about the my boys. when we when we played um, football team um, big, big Roma big Roma played a nice little assist through to Henry yeah. Henry finished it <laughs> scored a scorcher scored yeah a scorcher. yeah lovely stuff um, <clears throat> are we gonna we want to move away from Zambu I think you know yeah, as we've said we'll cover it probably more in a different podcast yeah for sure a lot to talk about there's, there's, a, lot to talk about. there's a lot so yeah so we'll, we'll dismiss that but lads holiday <sighs> lads yeah. holiday yeah want to get into that. Yes, we will get into that. Who, so, wants, who wants to start? Well, I mean, where did, did you where did you two go? On yeah, 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 we'll start off by saying where we went. So I went to Malia. Went to Malia um, with I think uh, seven other mates. Yeah. In yeah. the summer of 2019. Yeah, and in the same summer, I went to Cavos. Um, six of us. Big. But I went before you, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. So uh, yeah. See, I never went to these party places. I went the year before in 2018. So I went to Amsterdam for a weekend. Yeah. Mm. And then we went to. Uh, uh, Mahaka in the <clears throat> in the south of Spain because uh, one of our friends one of my friends had a, a place down there so not as party sort of yeah. town place but it was still a good experience still so, a holiday with the lads still a holiday with the boys with the boys can't complain so well, where, who's wanting to start any funny stories Joe um, yeah I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll tell one how many girls you get with uh I can't, I can't, no, I kind of stopped counting after 120, <laughs> but I, it was between there. It gets there. hard, it gets yeah, hard after um, to keep count. So, it was first night, you know, um, emotions are high. Uh, one of our friends, I'm going to give you the initials, it's uh, ER. Oh. Quite, <laughs> quite a bombastic <laughs> yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Character. That's one way to Character. Um, character, yeah. Yeah, big night out, comes back, out on the out on the uh, balcony, probably. It's, it's you know, the... The, like the way in which you sleep and you wake, like basically your t- your body clock's completely off. It's almost like reverse. So right. it was uh, start of the day, probably about seven. Um, and that's when we, you know, we were going to sleep. Yeah, you go to sleep at seven a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, ER was just out on the balcony, just <laughs> yeah. just um, whipped his Johnson out and just pissed all over the balcony, just on the floor. So there was just like a basically a puddle of piss. In the back, expect oh, the and oh, yeah, and he was lying yeah, in it as well. Yeah. But he was lying in it. Yeah, ah, he was doing it while he was lying down. Ah. And the thing is, is that like literally our balcony, anybody who walks into the hotel could have just seen him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Was this a conscious decision or was he just paralytic? I mean, I think it's just him. Do you know what I mean? As well, it's probably a probably combination. He was even joggy. Just wanted to do um, it. Smileys, a lot of smileys were given. I'll tell you what is a good thing about um, that's holidays, just fish bowls. Fish bowls fish are good. Bowls. Never had a fish bowl. In, that, in these clubs, you walk in five years and they'll be like, fish bowl, yeah, this and that. They chuck in a deal to lure you in. To lure see, you in. I, see, I didn't go to these party places. So it's I a, it's an experience. They have all these reps standing outside yeah. the clubs. And they, I can they imagine it's you really giant. You're walking down the road. All these reps are coming up yeah. to saying stuff to you. That's I remember like, um, I remember one of the places I went, one of the bars in uh, Malio, it was like <clears throat> 10 euros for like an hour's worth of drinks. You just went up and you paid. That's a good deal. And then there was other ones where it would like include like balloons and stuff and drinks for like five <laughs> yeah, euros. And then, and then, the, and balloon then go, the balloon goes. 
Yeah, and you you be you be you they, like there's a bit of the back where everyone done them, and then like the police would drive past, and they'd have to like shut all the windows <laughs> and shit as the police <laughs> came past. Uh, in Cabo's, so every funny. time the police drove down the strip, all the lights are gone. Yeah. The music gets turned down. If you're doing a, if you're doing a bit, oh, get in, yeah, get in. It's so weird. It's like, it's like no. the police obviously yeah. know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, of course so. you do. And then as soon no, as they come past, everything's back to normal. Yeah, yeah, it's, they, it's they weird. It's weird, but um, yeah, I don't know what Cavos was like in terms of there being a strip, but. We had like a pass to go into different nightclubs, so mm. oh, the joke like we'd probably go to like four nightclubs and just hop between nightclubs yeah, and no. bars like throughout the entire night until the early morning, and then maybe go beach, go for a dip. Yeah. Remember yeah. What, one of the lads uh, on the tour actually stepped on um, like a sea urchin, got like loads Ooh. of spikes in his foot, and he was just trying to get him out with a knife. Obviously, nobody had tweezers. Getting it out with a knife. Yeah, Ooh. I would have uh, got some tweezers. And, we re- and then we read his stuff, and he was like, "Oh, I can lead to paralysis and stuff." Yeah, and then yeah. Him. So yeah. we just started playing on that and booking him out a bit, and he, yeah, was, he was genuinely fearful. I would have just had another beer. What yeah. was that story about the fire as well? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a funny one. So, same guy who. Um, Went to the toilet on the balcony, bought some Viagra. I'm not even surprised that he was no, on no, Viagra. No. I'd yeah. expect that, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but so, so we basically, I remember it, it started off right. I had a shower and the boys were like, You want a cup of tea? I was like, Yeah, yeah. Come mm. back. I'm like, Got through half the tea. I was like, This tastes a bit funny. Boys. Do, you not, do you not like question how nice they're being to you? Like, <laughs> no, like, I don't. Like, mm. Yeah, but it's only a cup of tea. Do you know Joe, what I mean? Joe was it wasn't like, out the Joe question. Was like, you know, Cheers, guys. Like, um, you've got to have your wits about you. Anyway, you anyway, anyway, I ended up drinking half of that. Um, didn't feel any of the effects of the Viagra that was in there, um, but eventually called them out on it and I, I threw the rest away. And then. Um, you decided to get your own yeah, back. Yeah, and then I got on my own back and put it in because we get like these plastic bottles of like red wine for like yeah. three euros yeah. for the pre before we left put Viagra in there <laughs> and then uh, I'd say JB drank the whole thing and then I said it to him and I thought he'd like find it banned because he did it to me earlier he wasn't amused but he, you yeah, he just flipped on me and I was what just what the like, hell and I, I, I felt like oh I've actually been a bit of a dickhead you know what so, I mean? so, exactly. what did you, what did you decide so, to so do I was like, I was like yeah. look Josh make it up for you I'll do one oh, but God. do you know what it is like, I, no, I felt no effects of it well, I, don't know, I don't know if it I don't yeah. know if it was you felt no effect not even in the trousers department no, really? but I don't know if it's because I was at, like drunk at, at the same oh, time. I don't know. Maybe, I maybe don't you should get that checked but out. But yeah, but no, well, it works. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, but yeah, no, I remember, I remember JB after he'd done it. He so he knew that he he didn't know he'd done it. We haven't told him yet that he drank. And he was we were at the dinner table. And he kept like crossing his legs <laughs> and like shuffling around. And we <laughs> but obviously, he didn't know that he had the Viagra. Yeah. But yeah, funny, 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 funny. Poor lad. Shepherd, any funny stories from the last oh, holiday? I mean, where should I start? First day? Yeah, go First on. day. Well, go um, so it was a cheap holiday. We got out there, get to the hotel. It's actually really nice. It's yeah. actually a really nice hotel. But, um, um, so first night, it was a messy one for six of us. I, I managed to stay in control, you know. I, I brought a few people back, walked them back. A couple of people got paralytic. But, oh, um, yeah, I remember doing that. Taking so, and someone who, uh, LB. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we think we're ca- we're looking around. We're at the bar. There's a bar in the hotel. We come back there at like six a.m. Yeah. And we think oh, one of us is missing. Yeah. Right. I'm like, well, where is he? <laughs> and he's gone. He's gone. And so we're waiting up all night, ringing him. No answer. All this. Yeah. Seven a.m. Police car rocks up to the hotel. Yeah. And he he of course he hops out. <laughs> Seven a.m. Turns out he's two hundred euros down. Oh. Yeah. So obviously, I, and he can't remember what happened. To yeah. That. And he couldn't have spent it because how could you spend yeah, that? Yeah. 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 So we think the police. Took it off him. Really? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me. It's no, so pretty, corrupt uh, in countries. Yeah, pretty, yeah, we pretty fucked mm. that. The man. police are different. Like that. And he'd been hit by a car as well. <laughs> <laughs> and also, and so oh, we, we'd, been, we'd gone to bed like, uh, um, in between cause... this because we couldn't be bothered to stay up waiting for him. Great mates. And so we were in two rooms, separate rooms, because yeah. there were seven, uh, seven of us, so three in one room, four in another. Mm. And I was in the room of four, and one of my mates, um, so an OB, yeah. He he can't hack it. Everyone knows he can't hack it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so of course he threw up whilst yeah. we all asleep. Yeah. And um, on the floor, like just on the floor, he didn't even get out of bed. He just leans over, yeah. six and four. <laughs> so and then pretty nonchalant. Another one of my mates, a certain little shit called uh, HG. Yeah. He um he turns up, <laughs> fuck, butt naked. Fuck yeah. knows why, right? Butt naked, slips in the sink <laughs> onto his ass, falls on his ass, oh. um, passes out. And uh, yeah, and I just I didn't wake up throughout any of this. Well, fair play. Exactly. To you, I just mate. woke up to the most disgusting smell. I <laughs> yeah, I can, ima- I can imagine that. That's quite uh, horrible. The weather as well. It wasn't good. Yeah. Oh, I remember the weather. Like it, mm. you always just felt like so like. It dirty. made the hangovers worse. Yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just it was quite yeah. yeah. I just, I never felt clean while I was no, there. You could have no. a shower, but all like 
just the alcohol catching up and on it, you and, and the, you the sweat and the yeah no, you just constantly dehydrated you couldn't eat or yeah or no I know what you mean completely so um, but uh, apart from the the heavy nights out, yeah. which, which is pretty much the whole point of a lads holiday, yeah, what, of course. You know, did you get up to anything good um, in the day? So made, made the most of the place. Yeah, well, we had a wristband. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't exactly a, like a sightseeing tour. We didn't. No. I, I didn't feel. <laughs> I didn't come back from it feel, it's feeling not family much more holiday. cultured. Yeah, but um, <laughs> we had a wristband, so we saw a few people out there. We saw H, and that was kind of before he'd blown up. So. That was still quite so good. So would you say that you are the reason behind his success, mm. Joe? Uh, yeah, I was actually going to follow up and make that point. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, I am. Uh, all I'm saying is H's got a lot to thank me for. We saw H, we saw J1. J1, J1? We saw AJ Tracy, and I actually met AJ Tracy. He gave him a fist bump See, as he was I, walking out I think pub. this is absolute wass, mate. Oh, why like, would it be wass? I, th I think you made this up. Yeah, I have, you're right. And there's it's no, something he would make no, up, Yeah, I know, there's yeah. no photo evidence at all. No. Yeah, I asked him for a photo, and he's like, But that's what nah. you would say, wouldn't well, you? Well, yeah, you would. If, uh, I, if right. I was pretending to meet AJ Tracy, that's exactly that's, what I'd yeah. say. That's cool. You don't have to believe me, boys. Well, I don't. Well, so. it's quite crazy, because I actually met Drake once. Cool. Well, you know, and, and I that, asked for a photo, but I you, couldn't get a photo. You, oh, you really mugged me off there, Luke. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you another good thing as well. We had like a, I don't know if you did like a like a neon like paint party sort of thing. Oh yeah, I heard about this. And I remember they the, get messy. Yeah, there was a, there was a load of like um, like lilos. Is this in the day? It was it was at the like, early evening. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they had a load of these like lilo things, and obviously it's it's really slippy. So many people there. And uh, JB, he gets on the lot, and people get on the lilos, and like eight people would pick up the lilos and throw them. <laughs> and JB yeah. got on one, like eight people, we just flung it, Fly, yeah. flying across. <laughs> but there'd be some it's people where hilarious. they try to get shot, and they just like slip off and like smack like. Yeah. There could have been some serious injuries. The injuries that you can get on lads holidays. Yeah, are very serious. Bad. Like, nothing alcohol can't solve. No, very true. No, um, Luke. Yeah. Any funny stories from your last holiday? Yeah, so we went to Amsterdam. We went to Macca in, in the south of Spain. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, I say Amsterdam was more eventful for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, um, took a little trip down the uh, your favourite district, didn't you? We yeah, actually that's that's the best way to lead into it, what I was about <laughs> to say. But I I don't even know if if if, if I'm calm saying this fine yeah. we don't fuck it's, yeah. it's fucking Joe it's not gonna yeah. say any names basically there's a group of us there's six of us six boys and we had we basically had the rule that uh, throughout the whole of uh, sick form that we're all gonna lose we're all gonna lose our virginity and if we <laughs> had not, it sounds like from even I I Oh, I am pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and we literally said at the end of it, if uh, if you haven't lost your virginity, then you're going to lose your virginity in Amsterdam oh, yeah. the right way. That's a good thing. Um, Is it? Well, <laughs> funny thing. Yeah, it's not funny. if it's you. Not if it's good you. stories. Um, you know, yeah. all all uh, you know, five out of the six had lost their virginity uh, when yeah. uh, when it came to going on the trip to Amsterdam. Yeah. There was one <laughs> one individual <laughs> in particular. Know you know exactly who it is. Uh, he uh, he needed to to lose his V plate to put it that way. And you gave him a helping hand. We get you? well. I didn't give him the helping hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a certain uh, Dutch lady in particular. But basically, the story was so they set. Oh, I don't know if I, it's quite far. I don't really got any. Okay, <laughs> you, 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 can, you don't have to go into details. Yeah, you don't have to go into Basically, there's certain pricing that you have to you have to for different to services pay for, for different services to what you want. And um, that he, couldn't, he couldn't afford it, could he? he you no, know, he could afford it. Um, and the service was 100 euros that he needed. Uh, okay. And he, he gets there, <laughs> and he goes in, and, and the absolute grin, the absolute smile on his bloody face. Oh. It's, it's just, it's just it's great to see. He goes inside, he walks up the steps, walks along, yeah. and she's a very lovely lady. I bet she's got a great personality. <laughs> Dutch yeah. darling. Yeah. yeah, Dutch darling. And apparently, he goes inside, and. Oh. Um, not literally, uh, and he and she goes. It's one hundred fifty, and the guy's a very, uh, very, very stingy with money. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of paying the fifty, he goes, "What do you mean?" He's like, "He's like, he's like no." Uh, and I'm, we're all outside waiting. Just so like, it like, comes all, back down the stairs. You think he's done it? Or? Yeah, like, we're, like, we're, like, <laughs> that proud, was quick. All proud parents going, <laughs> and he's going, "No, no, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen." So that 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 problem presented itself, and then on the the last night, we found a lady who uh, would. Sell our services yeah, much cheaper. Yeah, we all, the thing we all is, chipped in. Do you really want in. that though? Like, if you if you're trying to like s like skimp on something, that's not. I know, a, but it's no. part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But we all basically paid. We all contributed like ten euros so or so to him. You. So basically, I assisted on his. Uh, yeah. On his. Uh, Losing virginity. So wow, that's, that was know. a that was a one, that was a very great story. Well done. Well done, Luke. Well done. Well done. And then 
there was a night where we got really drunk and we were outside on a square and there were so many clubs and bars around the time and my mate <laughs> one of my best mates he decided to he decided there was like a statue in the middle of the fu- in the middle of the, the square yeah. and he was so drunk he just decided to piss on the statue and there was just like loads of people just looking around oh, um, classic British it's classic British they, ab- they absolutely hate us bro don't they they absolutely why. hate us la la so um, let's talk about school trips them sort of things obviously only if it was abroad because I don't know school trip isn't really a holiday but some of them I, I found school trips uh, like, have, like going to Hampton Court England, isn't, yeah I didn't really it's, like, not, it's not a holiday not really, yeah, really but for example me and Henry uh, last year first year of university went to Rotterdam Rotterdam as part of our geography course and we're about absolutely free yeah, yeah, that, was, yeah that was great five days oh, in the joke. Netherlands yeah that's great. a joke. It's, it's like a it's like a BTEC Amsterdam. Yeah, I went there. So for, you paid for your lads' holiday. We did not. Well, I went. Yeah, that's very true. I, some, I went. I've been there before. Yeah, some people trip. on the last night, um, yeah. instead of sleeping, they got a train t- into I don't know why. Amsterdam I and don't then know why. got, got a train back, back at like five in the morning. Mm. Is it worth it, guys? Would you say? Well, no, because it? Rotterdam had all the yeah. utilities that are right. available in Amsterdam. It's, it's just cheap. You don't get to well. see the canals and the bridges and all that. It's more of the you could say you could say it's for the culture. Or the, the, yeah. the social I mean, media opportunity, Joe. Yeah, I haven't been to Amsterdam. Maybe I should have. You should go. Well, I'm sure I will at some point. I think the opportunity will present. Uh, yeah, that was a good trip. It was a geography trip, wasn't it? And we yeah. actually we actually, actually do work, but we end uh, we didn't really end up doing much. Yeah, we a lot walking of around time. a bit. Um, Did you ask someone a local if they like have a licky or coletto? Mm, oh, of course. Good one. Um, yeah, no, I remember going out to that. Do you remember that place we went to? Where it was like a nuke town, like where we got the train out and we went to that town. little bit, and it was just yeah, deathly yeah, yeah. quiet. And like I don't, even, can't even remember. It's basically, and it's just, it's just weirdly flat there. Yeah, it, it was like flat. It all seemed like quite like. I don't know. I don't know if news the word, but almost like kind of like futuristic. It was strange, but yeah, um, all the buildings in the Netherlands are so different. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like the architecture, well, and that's why we went there. That's what we were studying. Yeah, I think that's what my. Um, but it was just, it was a good trip, and we all got the alcohol was expensive, but we all managed to yeah, yeah, we yeah. all managed to get pissed and just a group of you know a hundred British students yeah. walking around. You can you can imagine yeah. what else. Like a hundred of you. Probably. Yeah, yeah. And so everyone was chanting. And there was Mackies there as well. <coughs> yeah, Mackies yeah. Anyway. That Mackies was mad. It was like a greenhouse. Yeah, it was, it's, when, it's one of the only ones in the world. Yeah. Like, we like, literally, when we got to Amsterdam, we actually got there, and the first thing we did was we literally just chilled and went and got Mackies, and we we're actually thinking that's exactly what we do. Like, <laughs> yeah, what's the point? <laughs> why, 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 why are we here? Yeah, what's the point of travelling hundreds of miles away just to do exactly? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so stupid. Go back and play some food for your room. Literally. So yeah. So I'd say Rotterdam was probably. Probably up there with one of my best trips, obviously. Yeah. And I think as well, like with a university trip compared to a school trip, there's a lot more freedom. Like when we went to that uh, Nuketown place, it was like eleven o'clock, and he's like, "Yeah, that's pretty well, that's much it, it no, for the day." You're off for the day. Really? Yeah. Eleven a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, it was it was a good trip, but for school trips, actually during school, I went on loads. I was lucky, yeah. and um, I went to Berlin, went to Iceland, went to Russia. Yeah. And as you say, you get a lot more freedom on a on well, no, a university trip so I mean I, yeah, I, sure. I remember whilst I was on all these trips it was, we, we all went like the same bunch because they're all for history and geography yeah. Yeah. so it ended up being we get this dynamic going between us because we all go on these trips and um, and I remember I remember just moaning all the time at the teachers you like you Henry yeah I, mean, you, I know you never moan <laughs> plodding around wishing I wasn't there but really you look back on it you think you know it's some of the best laughs I've had because yeah. you're all in it together oh yeah for sure and yeah. it's pretty much just a lads holiday with, with like, some teachers you, know? you definitely sat at the back of the bus oh of course I did <laughs> <laughs> I and, then, and, then, and then when one of the teachers came and sat back at the back of the bus yeah and I told them I told them piss off back to the front yeah you you were almost like in charge of the teacher I was right? at that point. So I was honestly. You call the shepherd. You call the yeah. shepherd. Shepherd, sure. Sheps. Um, so Rotterdam up there. Up yeah. There, I mean, sure. I think my favourite. I, I think mine was Russia because Russia is actually. Russia. What so, was Russia like, mate? Well, I went to I went to Moscow in Saint Petersburg. Moscow. And yeah, and it's it's, it's bloody cold. It's, what's the architecture like that? I can imagine it was. It's cool. I mean, oh, it's very bleak coming down on the plane mm. into Moscow. It's just grey and yeah, white. And really. Black. It's just. It's yeah, it's very Soviet era like, oh, but there are some of the buildings like um, all like the czars there. They were like the richest people in the world. So yeah, some of these yeah, palaces yeah, yeah. are absolutely incredible. incredible. Yeah. But yeah, it was bloody cold and it was snowing. How cold? It was How cold kind of, was it? I mean, about minus ten every day. <sighs> and then we got we got a night train from uh, Moscow to Saint Petersburg, and that was an experience I've never done anything. How like long before. was that? 
Well, it was overnight. It was the, probably ten hours. Ten hours. Yeah. Ten hours yeah. Well, like and so we all all in the cabin, four of us. You had yeah. like a playing cards, having drinks. It was good fun. Like beds and stuff in the cabin. Yeah, in the cabin. Oh, that's so yeah, cool. When I went cool. to um, so cool. when I went to I think it was Vietnam and Bali as well. They have like s- like coaches that you can sleep on. I can't remember what they're called, but really? like you go on and you there's like it's kind of like lie down. And you go and you sit back and you have a little curtain which you can pull across. Like when because you have long journeys around the country. It's like first class on. But yeah, isn't it? basically, <laughs> pretty much. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Lukey boy. Yeah. Any good school trips? Any funny stories that you want to enlighten us on? I really can't see any funny stories at the time. What about an, an ice bucket? I mean, that would. I mean, it's a funny story. A toothbrush. Yeah. <sighs> you can. You, we can see what the people think about it. You know. If you guys want to hear a story about um, the toothbrush and the anus. The Basically, age. substitute Luke's tablet that he had in hospital for a toothbrush. But it was oh, that's enough. But it was <laughs> no. But you're getting it twisted, mate. You act out yeah, as if this, this was me. You you was me. Show, I didn't sign up to talk about this. I stuff, know boys. it wasn't me with the toothbrush, Joe. You're making like a. You're, you're getting quite defensive. Oh, was it him? Was it Joe? Nah, oh, just chilling. Yeah, that's a Tuesday for me. I think we should move on from this. Um, yeah. Right, Henry. You yes. bought fake stuff from a country, fake designer stuff. Fake designer stuff. Ooh. What's the best or the worst thing that you've ever got? The like fake designer, Luke. Yeah. I'm gonna put the same question to you. What do you want me to go first? Either. Right. Guaranteed, yeah. If you go to a country and you get fake t-shirts, a designer football shirts are the best. Yeah. I absolutely. remember I got the Chelsea third kit, 26 slash seven season, uh, luminous uh, yellow away, away kit. Uh, yeah, third kit. Did a dropper on the back. Pretty sure I got it in Dubai. It was great. Loved it. Wore it all the time. The only problem was after a while, the, the badge and the printing peeled off. That happens with all of them. It happens with all of them. But the, rest assured, for three months of, of my life, it was on top amazing. of the world. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's probably one of the best uh, fake pieces in the uh, clothing I've got. And the worst, I uh, my parents got me a, a cheap Rolex in uh, when they when they went to Dubai, and it literally like. The, the, the ticking stop within like a week so uh, yeah, that's got in. it is going uh, I could have flexed but unfortunately I couldn't it made me more humble so oh, there you go and there you, go. you are today well uh, let's uh, pose a question back to you Jay okay um, this, I've, I've had a few fake different things um, of note I had a pair of beats a fake pair of beats came in the box and everything and then yeah. um, foolishly I had them at home and I left them on my floor. I just stepped on them and we just completely just, snapped them. Yeah, that's not yeah. that they're yeah, So right. that was that. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what the worst thing is. Tell me. To buy fake is like aftershave and fragrance. Cause Why? Either it just doesn't smell nice or mm. anything like that you want, and B, the smell lasts for like a couple of minutes and then it's gone. It just goes. It Even if it smells goes. nice at the time, give it 10 minutes and you know, nobody will be able to smell it anymore. Um, I remember probably my best, I had. Um, like a pink Ralph Lauren polo that I got from Morocco. Ralph Lauren, is and that, that was solid. that. Yeah, that was a lovely bit of kit. I got a lot of yeah. wear out of that during year six. That was like my go-to. Year piece. six. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got to say, I don't think I've ever really bought fake stuff. I always get a pair of flip flops. But yeah. I, went, yeah, I remember when I went to Canada. You go over there and you don't need to buy fake stuff, even if you, mm. even if you can't, so because cheap. it's so cheap. You know, like yeah. Under Armour and like, all these brands. The same, the same yeah, America. You're paying a quarter of the price for something yeah, you I've, pay for here. If you're ever travelling in America, go to the outlets. You'll get some absolute bargain clothes, you there. and even Very if you don't cheap. like it, you can come back here and you can sell it to your mate. Exactly, exactly. I've got like a cha- I remember I've got a champion hoodie, like literally, like you know, the old school really baggy champ, like the uh, jumpers. Yeah. Champion, like the red, blue, and white, uh, embroidered. Mm. Five dollars. That's crazy. That and and, crazy. and the people in the shop were like, "What the hell?" And I wish I'd I'd, I'd got like yeah. a few more because I literally could have sold them for 30, 50 odd quid. Yeah. So I mean, I mean you've got holidays that are expensive. You've got to find to pay for it. Exactly. I, mean, yeah. I remember when we were, we went to Scotland. Yeah. And I thought oh, it won't be an expensive holiday. Do you know what I mean? We just yeah, went up for a few days, it but was. it was it was. I mean, I, and I ended up getting a, a forty pound fine for having a beer in the street oh, in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you there uh, was these two police officers strolling along, but they were plain clothed, yeah. so I didn't know. Look, they go stop <laughs> police. <laughs> so I was like, police, I was like, yeah, I was like, have a day off. No, you're not. Yeah. And then they unzip <laughs> their else? thing and they got all the buttons and all. Get the flowers. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, oh, that's that's a forty quid fine. I said, look, I'm I'm not I'm from London. I was I meant to. Yeah, go. I don't think you understand, mate. Saying you're from London is not going to help your cause. Well, Scotland. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> either way, like either way, fine. I didn't I didn't bloody know. And yeah, so yeah, yeah that's yeah. forty pound down the drain. Oh. Just for having a beer. Wait, forty pound beer. Have you ever had a forty pound beer? Oh, it was nice though. It was. I enjoyed it. Apart from until they made me pour it all out onto the street. Pour out. Did you get your sock off? They said, look, they said, 
Mop you it got, all up. No, you got. They said you got three seconds to down it or pour it. Like, Oh, and you didn't down it. Yeah, look, I That's just... a challenge. <laughs> They're like, go on, son. <laughs> Get it down here. <laughs> Three seconds. We um, like to drink I'll it. Tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you a good way of making your money back from a holiday oh, is. Uh, okay. I know what you're going to say. Huh? Cigarettes, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that no, I was exactly going to say that when you asked me what I'd like to buy come back from holiday, it's always cigarettes. You yeah. sell them off, you make a fortune. I remember you, when you come back from Vietnam, you ripped me off for oh, hundreds. I sold, <laughs> I sold one of them makes 28 packs for 100 quid. Did you? Yeah. Wow. That's that's serious weight. I mean, that's cheap. Exactly. You're telling me like a drug dealer. Well, all right. So it was a pack. That is elite. It is illegal. It, it, it That's a, illegal drug dealing. Oh no, I've compromised myself here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it was like twenty p a pack out in Vietnam. How That's crazy is that? Bad. I mean, I'm, and when we went to Zambia, I remember as well. They're cheap out there. Yeah. But their main exports tobacco, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Copper. Yeah. Mm. Um. Anything else that you want to touch on upon, boys? Could touch on what we did in lockdown. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. The two of you probably spent a bit more time together, and we didn't see you as much. But we still, we still yeah. went out on the jolly. We, yeah. we drove around a lot. I mean, I hadn't been driving in a while, and we decided. I decided it was normally me asking everyone to do stuff. Yeah, right. bless you. Um, bless me. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we, we went to the beach every other day. We, we drove to, to all these places. Lower Cove, Lower Cove, Cove, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. and it was a good day as well. We it was the down. weather. The weather in lockdown weather was, was great. Yeah, that was really good. We went to uh, uh, Dartmoor too. Yeah, Dart we went camping in Dartmoor. Yeah, I wish I wish I'd gone. That was. We wish you were there as well. Good trip. Six hours journey down there. I wasn't happy. No, he was not happy in the car. I had to keep him entertained. We went to Box Hill, didn't we? Yeah, we went to Box Hill, yeah. me, you and Ryan. But I t I'll tell you what I missed, and was a good holiday last year, was um, your cottage down in, was it? Oh Lundies? yeah, I've got a nice house down in uh, Devon. Yeah, that's, that was nice. I Take the boys that. down there a few bit. It's a bit of a we old, old people's town, went fossil hunting. Yeah. But I mean, you can't fossil go wrong hunting. going to the beach. If you ever get bored and the weather's nice, or oh, shit. You can't, go to the you beach, go for a swim. It's a good laugh. Go for a swim, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, we went, yeah. for, went for a couple of bike rides around. Uh, oh, yeah, I love a bike ride. Oh, well. yeah, that was good fun. Like, uh, well, mainly I'll tell you what, Henry, them stories that we had. Oh, my oh, God. They were, the they were unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Honestly, they were unbelievable. We cycled to a, a fruit farm. Yeah, there's a fruit farm next to Near me. Luke's, uh, uh, picking farm. Yeah. And, well, we, well, we didn't, we broke in, kind of. Yeah. We didn't break in. No, well, we, we didn't. We just, we just verged off, the, off public. the public footpath and helped to sell to a strawberry or two. Yeah. And they, and they were delicious. And they were do it again. It was worth every pedal. Well, next time, boys. We'll do it again. Opportunity yeah. will present itself. And so. you know what? We could go out there and we could record I mean, podcasts as we're going. Yeah. You should be like, <laughs> just yamming on the. Oh. Yeah. But it was easy. Yeah. It was easy in lockdown to stay at home and you know not do much. But, but we didn't. But we didn't. And I, I feel like I saw more of the country during lockdown than I than I would Wait, have just if it hadn't been lockdown. Just to clarify, this was in the like the the like the period in which. Yeah, yeah. Were. Obviously, this was this was when we were allowed to do. When we, when we yeah. couldn't go abroad. Well, wow. you know, I, yeah, I quite I quite like that in terms of like exploring your exactly. own country rather than just going across to somewhere else in Europe. But yes, I think we're going to call it a day there, boys. Um, you know, it's been good having another man on the on well, the. Well, uh, I have to say, Joe, it's been my pleasure. No, oh, Henry, uh, too, you, yeah. Hopefully, we haven't been shouting over each other too much, and you've enjoyed listening to this extra little bit of content. Yeah, they're always talking over me. Yeah, I know. Um, Henry is sort of the the base within the household, so that's just how it goes. <laughs> but thank you for listening, everybody, and take care of yourselves. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. And hopefully, England beat Belgium. Bye. Come on, boys. Go the Lions.